Hello, and welcome to Code in 5 Minutes with Zim. I am Dr. Abstract. Let's go to the Zim site now at zimjazz.com and see what we can code in 5 minutes. I've hit the code section and I'll copy the template. We'll paste this into Atom and that gives us a template. We'll delete the circle stuff that was there uh, from before. We're almost ready to go, but I would like to kick around a soccer ball. How about you? Doesn't that sound like fun? So we'll use some physics to do that. For To use physics, we need to bring in a physics module. Right now we're bringing in CreateJS and ZimJS, but we'll go uh, without the pressure of time to go grab that physics module. And we go back to the Zim site. The easiest way to find it is in the code section way down and where we have our, our various modules listed, like how to do 3D and physics and pizzazz and that kind of stuff. But anyway, we'll click on the Zim 10 logo when we're on the home page, and this tells us what's new in Zim 10, including easy physics. So cool, huh? There's some physics balls dropping. If we right click not on the not on the image because that's an image not on the canvas but off the canvas and view page source or we could hit control u these are the two lines that we need to bring in box 2d which is what angry birds was made with and uh, our zim physics module so we then go and paste them in here now we've got the box 2d and the physics in here that we can use in Zim for physics. Woohoo! Okay, we are ready to go. Let's start the timer and we will say const physics is equal to a new physics. There we go. And then we'll also make a ball to kick around. Const ball is equal to a new circle. We can do it. Make that 60 dot center it on the stage dot add physics <laughs> one of those times we'll get it dot add physics okay let's see how it looks we'll open in browser and there's a ball I don't know what it falls but it doesn't bounce that has to do with its restitution rest do you like that word I like it restitution if we make the restitution at well, 0.7 or so, point, a restitution of 1 is very bouncy. A restitution of 0.7 is pretty nice. And there's a bounce of the ball. Good. Uh, now, if we want that to be an image, we could then bring in an image here. We have a ball.png in an assets folder. Bar assets is equal to ball.png. And var path is equal to assets slash. And we add these to the end of the frame or to the next uh, parameters here. That is assets, comma, and path are the next two parameters. We'll bring those in. If you only have one thing, you don't need to put it in an array like that. And then we can change this to a, the frame.asset. We'll go grab that asset of ball.png like that. Now we'll have a ball centered on the stage. It's going to break. There it is. It seems to go half off. And not only that, I think you'll see that it's actually a rectangle. So this is a big picture. It is a rectangle. Any rectangles need to have their uh, registration centered for physics. So if you have anything rectangular, center the reg. Uh, not only that, but we can say uh, the shape of it, shape is a quote circle. Uh, so treat that, and this is sort of overriding the shape, treat that as a circle. And what else have we got? There's the ball. I want to scale that a little bit. Dot ska. Uh, I don't know, 0.7. It seems like a little bit big. And we refresh here. And now we've got a ball dropping there. But we want to kick that ball around. So let's add an event to that ball.on mouse mouse down we can do it we did not do it down comma we'll call an arrow function we'll collect the event uh, the event object there now if we want to apply a force we can go ball.impulse that's a one-time force as opposed to ball.force, which is over time. So we could give this an impulse of 300 or something, and that will kick it to the right anytime we press it, which isn't really what we want to do, but let's see it work. 
Nice. We kick it to the right anytime we press it. But we want to kick it based on where our mouse is. And so uh, what we can do is we can find out where the ball is right now, ball.x, and we'll subtract where the mouse is, which can be gotten from our event object called e.stageX. That's where the mouse is on the stage. But unfortunately, since, um, since Zim Retina, the stage is scaled, so we have to divide by the stage dot scale x, so pardon us for that uh, sort of a CreateJS issue. But anyway, that's, um, that's the difference of where we're pressing, and we'll magnify that by a certain amount, say 20. Okay, so we've only got that going in the x. I'll press on the right-hand side, and it goes to the right. Whoa, that's a lot. Uh, I'll press on the left, or sorry, I'll press on the the left, or the right hand side here, and it goes to the left. Press on the left hand, and it goes to the right. So that's good. We just now need to add, and it's maybe a bit much. I'll go 15, and we'll do the same thing for the y position. So why don't we drop this down? Uh, that's here. That's the x, and whoop, comma. This will be the Y, and we change this to Y. How's our timer going? Ah, oh, 446, can I get the Ys in here on time? Pause that timer, whoop, 452, and let's see how it looks. Are you ready? We refresh here, hoodoomp, and now I'm kicking the ball around, boink. I could even sort of play a keep up game if we didn't have a ceiling. So you can you can remove the ceiling. But do you notice that if you click close to the middle, it's only a little. But if you click farther away from the middle, then it's a lot. So this technique gives you a good way to aim. You're sort of, I'm pressing here. If I just want it to roll along the bottom a little bit, I could go like that. If I want it to um, roll along the bottom quickly, I go like that. If I want it to go straight up, I click on the bottom of it. So it does give you targeting, not only for soccer balls, but for uh, hitting other things. Oh, it would be cool to see if we could hit a target and find out if we're hitting it. Hmm, I wonder if that could be a future. What can we make in five minutes with Zim? <laughs> Maybe so. So uh, you can find this code, by the way, at zimjs.com slash five. Look for, I think we'll call it physics maybe, and uh, join us on Slack, zimjs.com slash Slack. Ask any questions, uh, make any requests, show some of your work, get involved, and share Zim with others. Yay! This has been Code in 5 Minutes with Zim. I'm Dr. Abstract.